Hi, this is Shalai with Scott Leroy Marketing, and I'm going to show you how to add and manage featured listings on the new command website. To get started, we want to go to our consumer tab. So that is going to be our last option here. Once our consumer tab loads here, we want to click on edit my website on the center of the page right here. Once that loads, that's going to take us to our new dashboard for our website. We're going to go down towards the bottom under the edit your website section. And we want to select the option for our home page. That one's going to be towards the middle here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. That's going to bring us to the template where we can edit our home page of our website. For featured listings, we are going to want to select the second option here, and that will bring the drop down to edit our featured listings. With the new featured listings module, you have the ability to have featured listings added dynamically, or you can select this drop down and change it to basic, which would be the way featured listings were added on the old website where you would select your listings manually. So starting from the top down, you do have the option to change the title if you would like to, as well as the description. So you do have this preview over to the middle of the page here. So you have your title, featured properties, and then your description under that. So you can change those if you would like to with those text boxes here. So if we scroll down a little bit, so again, we have that drop down to either choose dynamic or basic. With the dynamic option, what you're going to do is choose a centralized location on the map. You can set your location by clicking on this magnifying glass icon. And then from there, you can enter your location. You can either enter a full address or just a city, however you prefer to do that. Once you enter that, you're going to get this drop down here to select an option. So once we click that, it should save that location for us. And then down below that, we have the option to display up to 10 featured listings here. And then you also have the option to adjust the search radius. This can go up to a maximum of 50 miles. If you are looking for more localized listings, we do suggest using a smaller radius for this. You do have the option to choose how they are sorted. So we have recently updated. You can sort them by price, either low to high or high to low. You can sort them by the number of days they have been live on the site, whether you do newest to oldest or oldest to newest. You can sort by the living area space, as well as the price per living area. So there's a lot of different sort options here that you can choose from. Down below that, you will see this little plus symbol for featured listings. For this, you'd still have the option to manually add listings if you would prefer to. So if you are using the dynamic option and you want to add other listings, any listings that you add here are going to show up first on the list. So those are kind of like picking out your favorite listings that you want to showcase on your future properties. Down below that, we have this drop down for filters. So we're going to go ahead and click on that arrow. And here is where we can add filters to what properties are going to show up there. So we have listing categories. So we have sale, sold, rent, or rented, and you can select multiple at a time. 
For listing status, you can have active, pending, or coming soon. And again, you can select multiple. And then to deselect them, you just click on them again. Under that, we have property types. So you have house, commercial, apartment, townhouse, condo, coop, manufactured, lots and land, multifamily, and other. Just like the other ones, you can select multiple and you can select as many as you would like to. There is no limit on how many options you can choose here. Next, you can adjust your filters by minimum and maximum bathrooms and bedrooms. You can select an option for square footage, lot size, as well as a certain price range. So if you only want certain price range properties showing up there, you can set your price range here. You also have the option to add keywords. So for example, if you want to show properties that have pools, you can type in pool here and add that as a keyword. And that will only feature properties that have pool within their listing. You can add as many keywords as you would like to. There is no limit on those either. And to remove those, you can simply click on this red dash next to the keyword and it will delete that from your filters for you. If you have any questions or need any assistance with this at all, you can reach out to us anytime at support at scottleroymarketing.com.